And don't get me wrong, I understand that sometimes it's really hard to stop. You know, one of those times was earlier today <laughs> when Donald Trump, fresh off his Tuesday victory, flew Air Force One to Washington <laughs> and headed to his new home for one of the signature ceremonies of American democracy as President Barack Obama welcomed President-elect Donald Trump to the White House. God damn. <laughs> that is so hard to watch. I know this, I know it has to happen, but does it have to happen so quickly? You know, it's like if your dad dies and then your mom starts dating at the funeral, you're like, come on! <laughs> Just give me time to get used to it. Like, I'm, I'm surprised, though, that Donald Trump today didn't just walk in wearing a dashiki, you know? Just <laughs> being like, Ali Bumbaye. <laughs> I feel like this whole process is backward, people. The American election takes two years, two years, when really it should only be like 12 weeks. But then the transition, taking over the entire American government, which should take two years, only takes 10 weeks. You just meet the guy, sign the thing, nukes are over there. All right, don't f it up. Thank you. Good luck, good luck, good luck. <laughs> you just switch it around. You know, one of the moments when you realize how big this change is going to be is that right behind Donald Trump during their meeting, the man who ran one of the most divisive racially charged campaigns in memory, behind him is a bust of Martin Luther King Jr. That bust right now must be thinking, I have a nightmare. <laughs> The one upside was to signify the momentous occasion. Barack Obama uh, had a new image uh, behind him, a painting of crying Jordan that he uh, put up. <laughs> Trump was like, oh, oh, you put a picture up of yourself, I see. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what it would be like to meet your worst Twitter enemy in person? <laughs> well, picture it with nicer chairs, and it would probably go like this. I just had uh, the opportunity to have an excellent conversation with President-elect Trump. We were just gonna get to know each other. We had never met each other. Uh, I have great respect. Yes, great respect. Turns out he's super nice. Never judge a black by his cover. <laughs> How did these guys talk for more than an hour? We talked about foreign policy. We talked about domestic policy. And in the meantime, uh, Michelle has had a chance to uh, greet the incoming first lady, and uh, we had uh, uh, an excellent uh, conversation with her as well. Yeah, talking domestic and foreign policy. I bet Trump asked to see domestic policy's birth certificate to make sure it wasn't foreign. <laughs> and what was the meeting between Michelle and Melania like? Was Melania just plagiarizing her on the fly? <laughs> it's so nice to see you. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> This is the Roosevelt Room. This is the Roosevelt... Okay, stop that. Okay, stop that. <laughs> I feel like... I actually feel like Donald Trump should have met Michelle instead, you know? He'd be like, I'm a huge fan of your work. I, too, think women should lose weight. <laughs> it's a good thing uh, The Daily Show was actually there to capture this historic meeting, because normal cameras only capture the physical. Our cameras can capture the mind. We now are gonna uh, wanna do everything we can to help you succeed, because if you succeed, then the country succeeds. I think President Obama has been the most ignorant president in our history. He has done such a lousy job. It's maybe the worst that we've ever had. He may not have been born in this country. He should show his birth certificate. Everything he does is wrong. They wouldn't even give him stairs to come out of Air Force One. He founded ISIS. Thank you very much, President Obama. I have great respect. If somebody can't handle a Twitter account, <laughs> they can't handle the nuclear code. He is temperamentally unfit to be commander-in-chief. He pumps himself up by putting other people down. He spent most of his life trying to stay as far away from working people as he could. Uniquely unqualified to be president. This is a guy who, like, tweets, they should cancel Saturday Night Live. And you want to be president of the United States? Come on, man. Mr. President, it was a great honor being with you, and I look forward to being with you many, many more times in the Good. future. Thank you, sir. That is one hell of a performance, especially by President Obama, which means at least one black person should get nominated for an Oscar this year. <laughs> and... And on the other side, Trump looks like he likes Obama, too. Ben Carson must be so jealous right now. <laughs> oh, rats.
Trump's getting a new black friend. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. President Obama meeting with future president Donald Trump. I'm, I'm gonna go throw up now. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey there, it's The Daily Show's Trevor Noah. We have our own YouTube channel now, so uh, please do subscribe. Uh, I'll, I'll wait so you can... I won't even look, just because I know that's weird. It's sort of like when a dog's doing its thing. You can just... Yeah, just subscribe. I won't, I won't look.